or the officer over there is going to break the window, and then I'm going to arrest you. Well, just calm down, officer. I just got here. Now, in case you're wondering why the fire department is here, he pulled the fire alarm and then did a runner, like a little child. And now he's hiding in his car with the doors locked. Look, man, step out. We got this early time, I'm gonna break the other thing. Yeah. for disorderly conduct. Open the door or I'm breaking your window. You understand? All right. Hey, open the door. Talk with us. Talk with us. We just want to talk to you, man. Don't make us break your window because you'll do it. Just come outside and let me talk to you. I mean, with the fire department already there, why are you not using the jaws of life? Cut his entire car in half. <laughs> that would be funny as hell. Let's see if he's still smoking smugly then. Hey. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. is refusing to act in his vehicle. He's come in to serve his conduct and has been advised he's under arrest. I'm breaking the window. Sorry, it's on your way for you. Sorry, for a minute. Come on, you're wearing. I'll look at You don't want to get out, huh? Yeah. I'm asking where you are. Go ask me to wait for him. Huh? Yeah, Mike. If he's not going anywhere, pull out and see if I can talk to him. Mm, yeah, not only did the officer take off his gloves, he actually put them on better, so he's ready for action. What's your name, bud? Hey. Only out this sergeant is coming in hot. Full throttle ahead. Alright, this is Jordan. He's not a guest of the hotel. He was yesterday. He pulled the alarm for some reason. Jordan, can I talk to you? He said my name's Eric. What is your name? Eric. You're, you're okay, well, I'm asking you, what is your name? I don't know. I'm sorry? I am Sergeant Fanger with the Joliet Police Department. I just, I, I need to speak to you. So, I need to, need, what, what's your name? I just told you, it's Sergeant Vandergrift. Oh, my name is Eric. Eric? All right, all right, Eric, I need you to step out of the vehicle. How much of a chance do you think he is gonna get out of the car? <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you think he comes out of the car. Keep sitting in the car. Keep sitting in the car smoking. Might as well order a pancake. Or eventually he's coming out of the car. Whether he likes it or not. You Did you pull the fire alarm? Well, they're saying you did. Well, 
It's on video that you did. So this is what's going to happen. Yes. You're no. You're you're under arrest. So this is what's going to happen. You either you can step out of the vehicle, or the officer over there is going to break the window, and then I'm going to arrest you. So, what? Well, you call your lawyer then. Call him. You gonna open the door now? So we're going to have to break the window. This is. I'm, I'm not asking for consent. It's going to happen. So this is going to be the last warning. Are you going to come out of the vehicle? All right. Do the back. Do the back window. Back window it is. Get out of the car right now. Yeah, 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 I know. Come on. Come on. Don't grab my neck! Come on out of the car. Whatever, whatever, I'll do what I want. I bet you do, Eric. How come they're not respecting your authority then, hmm? This is a grown-ass man that pulled the fire alarm. It's on video and <laughs> it's a real-life Eric Cartman. Right. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back. That's it. Good man. Okay, who's got the cuffs? Mike? Who? Okay. I don't know who you're talking about. Alright, well, turn around on your side. You took my phone? We, we'll, we'll get it back to you. Because right, right, you can't record. We're going to get him in the other position. We've got your zip ties. Because last time it was zip ties. Alright, do me a favor, sit up. No, I'm not doing you no favors. You're not doing me. Jordan, I'm a... Ah, we got ourselves a repeat offender here. He knows the process. But, but, uh, <laughs> the logic. Uh, so, you pulled the fire alarm, you refused to follow orders, and now you got a busted back window of your car. And, and w what exactly in the situation where you're gonna get arrested are the officers gonna do you a favor? I'm genuinely curious what, what favors he wants. I did do you a favor. I caught you. You broke my car window, bro. Yeah, I caught you for five minutes. You said a minute. You gave me a minute. That was talking about a minute. That was the car. Believe me, it's all going before the judge. From the start, dude. This is video. You don't see all the TV cameras on your face right now? It is on Well, you are now under arrest for a class 4 felony for pulling the fire alarm. Yes, you got it on camera. Yes! Okay, Ronnie. Take all my money. Right, take all my money. 175. We got a witness. Where you at? This would actually be a really good commercial for those uh, fancy wallets. Are you about to get arrested? Might as well get a fancy wallet. That way all your shit is not gonna be on the floor. You are though. Which car is this? Very good, thank you. And he's gotta be searched better. What the hell is this camera angle? Do, what, do they have one on a trolley or something? <laughs> hey, can someone go back and break the other windows of his car as well? Including the front and the back one? You know, you just gotta even it out. Sideways convertibles be like that. I'll search the bus. Yeah? This is illegal. Why'd you fall, bro? Because you weren't walking. Well, holy hell. Do you need a walking tutorial? I got two of them. I mean, he's doing a better job than you. So you fall because I wasn't walking? Yeah. Though? Right, where's the zip ties? Right here. 420. Right, I got a wedgie. Cool. You want to pick it? Eric? Right, got my phone. Alvarado got my phone. Alvarado, like the avocado, bro. It's in your pocket. That's against the law. Okay. You're breaking the law, bro. Over there? Yes, I would. Right. Julia Fire Department, please help! Help! No, I didn't do anything. I'm Eric. You can call your D4 DC up charging. Copy that. Lincoln, I'll I'm not resisting. I didn't say you were. Hello, Eric. You're very cute today. Right, you want to grab my balls too? Sure.
This guy is really strange. It's almost as if he's getting some kind of gratification from this. This is illegal! Illegal! Help! There's stealing my money and my phone! Basically, you're a helium-powered force. Do you even have balls? Or did you leave them in your other pocket? <laughs> yeah, what a weird man. Alvarado 420! Help! Quit grabbing my balls! Great, right, answer my in. phone! My lawyer! I need you to step in the vehicle, sir. This is illegal. 3401! Okay, right, why is my phone recording? It's your dash cam recording? Get off my stomach, that hurts. Well, sit down. Have a seat. Don't hurt me. I'm not hurting you. I'm not trying to hurt you. Eric. Eric, have a seat. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Eric Jordan! Gabby! Come on, Eric. Come on. All right, my Give me a rebel. I am towing the car. Okay. I think he's just making a scene. Not the ice one. Or just spitting. He yeah, threw up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Weirdo seems to be an understatement. You freak. Yeah. That's the same thing. I want to do me a favor, Mike. Yes. You will handle the tow. Okay. I'll make sure Canino. I want to make sure that he's okay. Dig and it is and his physical condition. He's throwing up. Sure. There's no wrong. So we got fired, make sure he qualifies. He doesn't get fired a hard time. We care about his physical. We, we care yeah. about his being number one. Me and Canino will take care of this. Okay. You and Nick take make sure he's okay. Fire should be back in route. If one of you has to train, if one of you has to go ride in the ambulance with him, you guys flip the coin. Yeah, Fair enough. That I'll have them just burn a video of him pulling the alarm. Just I, for later. Even then, I will take care of who has yeah. I don't want him. No well, choice, dude. You're I'm not arrested. You never read me my rights. Okay, so if you're if, to this game, my detainer you're arrested. arrested. I told oh. you that earlier. Oh. If you're handcuffed, a police officer has to come with us. That's the policy between the Joliet. That's, that's the one the that took my phone, phone to ask your right, son. Yeah. He's very cute. Yeah, well, excuse you, Eric. I don't think the officer bends that way. Is he now flirting with the officer after puking all over the backseat of his car? And you're a bit of a... I'm running out of insults here. Let's go with Old Faithful. Yeah, Dick Flute. Well, come to think of it, he might actually like that name. Damn it, Eric. Are you... He forgot his makeup. Are you Jordan? I am. Okay. No, you're not. You're Eric. That is now your name, and it will forever be your name. But the other officer that took my phone said I'm Eric. It's on recording. That's why he has the phone. Okay. Because I called my lawyer because he gave me one minute before breaking in my car. Ask your body cam. They should be on. They've been on the whole time. Are you sure? Because we're going to see this in court. When I told you Especially when you grab my balls. I told you to open the door. That's why I grabbed your pussy. Real quick, man. That's what Trump said. We're just trying to see medically what's going on, okay? Well, doctor, it's uh, actually uh, really simple. This might be the first case of you seeing a functioning human being without a brain. Maybe a bit too optimistic right there. And yes, Eric, everyone is going to see what you did and how long it took. There, the sergeant had to come over. It takes a little bit longer than one minute. You know, you weren't exactly gone in 60 seconds. But to be fair, the entire operation of getting you out of the car lasted a few seconds. You didn't put up much of a fight, acting all tough and shit. Hi, cow. I don't know. They okay. punched me in the stomach and I'm peed. It's on recording. Let me ask you. What kind of medical history do you have? PTSD, because I got hit in the head on Monday. And you guys just picked me up and took me to St. Joe's. Oh. Well, Officer Perry did. Where's he? PTSD, what's right. the here going on? That's it, sir. No. Do you want to take it off? Have your brace. Have your brace. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, it was in the it was in the trunk. Where's my phone? Your phone isn't there. You're in custody. You can't use your phone. I'm in custody for what? Yes. This early conduct and resisting. We told oh, you that. Oh, it said like that. Five so why did you break in my car? Because. 
Are, are we sure that Eric didn't get hit in the head multiple times every day of his life? Because holy hell, this man has the attention span of a goldfish. And that would be insulting to the goldfish. Because the goldfish would remember this. The because he refused to open the door. Oh. This is not complicated. Okay. I know. Keep it simple. been arrested, you have to The academy the says keep it simple. I understand, sir. Back to the blue. So when you're a police officer arresting someone that is breaking the law and then not following orders of the officers, then the officers are breaking the law? Holy hell man, this is the kind of person that gets stuck on an escalator when it shuts down. Municipality. You were doing drugs or alcohol today? No, sir. This, no. I didn't even get to consume my cannabis because I didn't want to get a DUI because the keys right. were not in the ignition. And my Spectra pen that they stole that I just got. My dog's at PetSmart too at the damn dog daycare. But you couldn't steal her today, could you? Yeah, she will. Because I have a notary for if something happens to me. Exactly. Keep it simple. Right. Or steal my dog. George, what's your birthday? Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. I don't know. Oh. Uh, Where are you staying at right now? Well, I was staying here. I paid for a room here, and then everything got stolen, and I got jacked out my car. He had a room yesterday. They didn't want him back today. We told him. Okay. Yeah, whatever the officer said. Okay. Write it in your report. Do I have a report number for all this puke? You'll get a report. For yeah, a report number for when you grab me by the balls. It's, it's on recording. Yeah, your balls are small, bro. I'm grabbing your balls. Yeah, that's why I puked, because you grabbed my balls. I told you not to touch my stomach on recording before you took my phone. And then you fell on the ground for some reason because I couldn't walk? That's what you said. Oh, yeah. I didn't say it. I'm just schizophrenic. Oh, I, uh, I guess this is someone's Friday night. Right, so Eric seems to be um, having a ball. Good God, man. Uh, d d d there are different kinds of parties. You don't have to pull the fire alarm to get your buddies over. Because the people that come over to your car party aren't exactly your buddies, Eric. I want to say GG well played, but no. Bye-bye. I've seen flat earthers make more sense than whatever this was. Why'd you fall, bro? Because you weren't walking.